What's going on everyone? Thank you all so much for joining me in this next World War II Gold Camo Unlocking video. Today we're unlocking the Gold Camo for the M1 Bazooka. So if this is a Gold Camo that you would love to unlock yourself guys, then I'm going to try and help you as much as I possibly can to make this as easy as I possibly can for you to get this to gold yourself. Now at the moment there's only one variant that we know of. If you want to go for this guys, you don't have to. But um, the variant is the Eagle's Nest. It is an epic weapon. It will give you 10% extra soldier XP as well. You can access it through means of going into Quartermaster, clicking into Collections, and then clicking into M1 Bazooka. There then you will find the seven tasks that you will need to unlock the epic weapon. Now you can unlock these tasks through means of using your tokens, or you can very fortunately sometimes get them through supply drops. The two that I've unlocked there so far, they both came through supply drops. But I didn't bother using my tokens for Essen because I'd already completed the bazooka anyway, so I don't really need to unlock and access the epic version of it. But if it is something you need to do, guys, then if you don't know, you will need to unlock all seven of those tasks first. So if you've got enough tokens to use, you can do this, guys, um, before you can access that epic launcher. It looks pretty good, guys. I must admit, it is a very, very nice looking weapon, that. But to equip it, to use it, you'll need to go into basic training and then select Launched. That launch will then give you access and it will also then equip you with whatever choice of launch you want. There's two in total. We're going with the M1 Bazooka. And then you'll have to start your challenges. Now, when you start to look at these challenges, guys, they're nothing really different from any other launcher in any other Call of Duty game. If you played these before, if you haven't, then I will tell you that you'll need 100 enemy score streak destructions to then complete the first nine camos up to the ambush camo. So I'm going to try and help you now as much as I possibly can. If you're new to this, guys, or if you're struggling at all with any of these score streak destructions, then, like I said, I'm going to try and help you as much as I can. So we're going to show you some videos now very shortly. But when you do come to destroying these enemy score streaks, I would say stick with enemy UAVs, counter UAVs, that kind of thing. They're the easiest to take down. I've never really, to be honest, all the games I've played so far, I've never seen any other score streaks from the enemy other than UAVs or counter UAVs, okay? But the next thing is, is obviously trying to use it. Remember, there are two explosive devices in your launcher that you use. Once you've used the second one, it won't use again. Even though it does say that when you kill an enemy, you can kind of walk over it, it will replenish your explosives, but I haven't noticed that myself. I have killed enemy before, I have walked even over them in case it's like a little package on the floor that you can resupply your um, explosive device in your M1 bazooka, but it doesn't work. Uh, it probably will do in the future, but at the moment it doesn't, so I only had two with every use of it, two explosive uses with every use of it. The only other difficult thing with this is the aiming of it. Now, when I aim in at any enemy score streak, okay, you can see two little points there as a, as a kind of a rectangle if you want to just... If I can try and explain myself clearly, but it's the top little dot that you know need to go with. The top dot, reticle, whatever you want to call it, is the one that you need to be aiming with. Not the bottom one. There's two in total, as I said. When I aim up, you'll see what I mean. But it's the top one that you need to go with. You need to get your trajectory right as well. When you get it right and you got used to it, you know, you can actually get some long distance ones. It's really not a problem, guys. Like that one there, very long distance. And it's quite easy to use by the end of you coming to your 100 score streaks in total that you've needed. But go with that first regular, it will help you. Also as well, um, what can help you is obviously the enemy needs to have the score streaks in the sky to start with. So this is never going to work if an, em if an enemy hasn't even got a UAV or a counter UAV on. So you're going to have to go for some other kind of score streak. But try and stick with the UAVs. Listen to the commentator as well. The commentator will tell you when an enemy UAV is in the sky. Go for it, guys. Get them out of the way. You need 100, so try and get them out of the way as soon as you can. The next challenge. They start to get harder now, the last five. The M1916 camo. We now need to destroy five score streak vehicles within 20 seconds of deploying with the M1 bazooka. Now, this is where I said to you now, if you're struggling with this challenge, I, you need to listen to the commentator. As soon as the commentator has said for you that there's an enemy score streak available, whether it be a UAV, canopy, whatever it may be, try and take it out within 20 seconds. But don't worry, you've got plenty of time. So you listen to the commentators say that they've deployed a score streak, but I miss with the first one. It doesn't matter because you can still take it down within that 20 seconds. So that's how you do this challenge, guys. You know, only need five of them, okay? Five of these. Try and get them down and destroy them within 20 seconds of, since when the commentator have said. And that, that is quite an easy challenge, guys. Nothing really that hard about that one. Now, the next two challenges. 
I got these two next camos out of the way in the in one game that I played, okay? So they are quite hard. The snow camo, first of all, you will need to destroy five score streak vehicles in one match, okay? Using only the M1 bazooka. So that's quite difficult in itself because, again, the enemy needs to have the UAVs or whatever the score streak they're going to have in the game anyway. But you're not going to like this, guys. But the way I completed this very easy and the next camera as well I'm going to show you was by means of dying plenty of time so that I gave the enemy the chance to have their score streaks. OK, it's only going to happen one game, guys. Who cares about your kill death ratio for one game? You know, you need to get these out of the way. If you if you go around having a top game. Um, you're killing loads of enemy. Again, the enemy are not going to get the score streaks out. Remember, you need five in one match. So depending on what game mode you're playing in or how the time length of it is, sometimes you will struggle with getting the five in one match. But you die loads of times, you, they'll get plenty of score streaks. You'll get that challenge out of the way easy. Now, like I said, I got the next one out of the way as well, the Leopard Camo. Now, the Leopard Camo is destroying now two score streak vehicles in one life with the M1 Bazooka. So this is the one that I'm going to show you now. But once I got this challenge out of the way for the Leopard Camo, okay, I also, there, this was my fifth kill as well on the second destruction in one life that I got. So literally, this is how you do the Leopard Camo, guys. You get one score streak down because the enemy were on top of us and I was letting them get on top of us for the score streak. They then got another one out. So you mustn't die in between. So you've got to make sure you've got your both explosives in there, get one down and be accurate and go for the next one. So that way then you've just got two destructions in one life using the M1 Bazooka. And also if you look as well, I got the other challenge out of the way because that was my fifth score streak in one game. So two, both of those challenges were out of the way in one game. But die loads of times, guys. It, it works. Trust me, it's easy. Right, the bronze camo. Now this is where it starts to get a little bit more difficult. You need to get 10 direct hit soldier kills with the M1 Bazooka. Now, if you've used launchers before in Call of Duty games, you'll know exactly what this means. But if you are new to this, and I'm going to, again, I'm going to try and explain myself clearly as much as I possibly can. Direct hits mean that you need to now start treating this like a normal weapon, like an AR or a submachine gun. If you don't, and you're missing with the target, you're aiming in directly at the enemy, again, it's not going to be class one towards your 10 direct hits that you need. To start with, when you start going for this challenge, you'll find that it will be a little bit difficult because the M1 Bazooka, when you're trying to use it like an AR, especially on enemy now, remember, we're not going for score streaks anymore, we're actually trying to kill the enemy with this, it is fairly difficult because it is a very lazy, sloppy gun. You can't really do too much running and gunning with this, but where you can, have your M1 Bazooka up, so don't use it as a secondary weapon anymore, try and use it as a normal weapon, but try and have it aimed up, know and anticipate where the enemy are coming in, and you need to get that direct hit kill, guys. If you've got your aim up, that explosive device out of your M1 Bazooka will come out a lot quicker, because remember, you're up against ARs, you're up against submachine guns, they're gonna be a lot faster in aiming up than what your M1 Bazooka is. So, you know, you've got to kind of new, use your noodle in a way, guys, if that makes sense to you. In, and again, hardcore mode, okay, hardcore mode is going to be the one to go for, especially domination. Domination, you're going to have enemies taking the points. And I found that a lot more easier to get the direct hit kills. I was hiding up a lot of the times, just very near where the enemy were about to take our point. And I, trust me, guys, it helped me out so much. It really did. As soon as they started to take that point, then I was up straight away, aiming in with the M1 Bazooka, getting the 10 kills that I needed. Direct impact kills. So you've got to be impact kill, guys. Direct to the enemy. If, you, if you're if you aiming on the floor, blowing them up on the floor, it's not going to work. Okay, you've got to hit them directly. So the next camo we're going for is the copper. Now, this was the hardest challenge for me overall. This is getting two rapid kills five times, both kills coming from the M1 Bazooka. Now, I experimented so much with this, how to get the double rapid kills. This is probably going to be a struggle for you guys as well. But I finally found the right method to do this, to get this out of the way easy. But trust me, guys, it did give me a headache. Okay, so I first started off thinking, okay, I need to get two rapid kills. You know, this is a lazy, sloppy gun. This is going to be very difficult because you're matched up again with faster weapons from the enemy. So again, I used hardcore mode. 
because it made it easier. But when I first started to do this, I used standard core mode. Now, this is standard core mode. As you can see, I mean, it's not even getting a kill with the M1 Bazooka. I don't know whether the game was glitched or whether there was some problem with the connection. I don't know. But you saw there first hand, guys, it just didn't work. So I gave up with standard core mode straight away with using that for the rapid kills. But then we went on to the hardcore mode. Now, Domination again will give you the advantage of having knowing where the enemy are. They're normally going to flock in. But these are some missed opportunities, guys. You'll find plenty of these. I was, what I was trying to do, first of all, was trying to get two kills with one explosive. That is then making it easy. It can be done. I will show you my actual rapid kills in a moment, guys. These are not actually rapid kills. These are my attempts at getting the rapid kills. But you'll find sometimes even your teammates will spoil your getting the rapid kills, which is very frustrating. This is a nice little place to camp here. And if you know what map I'm on here, guys, that big one with the guns. And sometimes just wait for that second enemy to come in. But like I said, a lot of the time it just wasn't working properly. So there had to be another method to this. But this is what I then started to do. I thought, well, okay, we've got two rounds, two explosives. Let's try and kill one. Let's try and kill another one. It didn't register. But the reason why it didn't register that for, other than trying to get two kills with one explosive, because that's one way of doing it, but then to get two kills with two explosives, if you know what I mean, guys, the reason it didn't work that time for was because there was too much of a delay, okay? If there's a delay within your first kill with the explosive to the next one, it's not going to register, okay? I did that several times, so why isn't it working? But you've got to get the two kills from those two explosives literally instantly, okay? I'm going to show you now how that's done. But first of all, we're going back to the first attempt at trying to do the two kills with one bullet because it can be done not a bullet guys explosive you know what i mean so sometimes you can do it there's one there that was one explosive device killing two enemy and i did it again on another game this is the next one i'm going to show you again so this is a very difficult thing to do but again if you're playing hardcore domination it can make it a little bit easier but know when the enemy are going to take your um, point and then get that m1 bazooka up and then you can hopefully get a quite a few enemy going for that point and then this one here i get a triple kill look guys so one explosive kill three so that's one towards the five rapid kills that i need but that is quite difficult doing that so that i had to think of another way so as i said in the first one which i tried to do i then had to try and kill an enemy and then another one but hopefully the reloading of the explosive guys was quick enough so i can get another kill so this is how it worked guys these are the rapid kills now this is an easier way of doing it so I got one kill on that point B with the first explosive and then I got a second one straight after. That's one of the rapid kills. So it's up to you which way you want to do it. So here's another one, guys. I got one kill with the first explosive straight away without any time. As soon as it's loaded again, get another kill straight away. You can do it that way as well. So there's two different variation ways I've given you to attempt to do the rapid kills. It's up to you which one you choose. I was kind of experimenting with them all. Here's another one here, guys. So I got one kill and then one kill again straight away. All right, I died, but I managed to get that second kill. That's, again, one towards the rapid kill that you need. Now, a great map to play on is this one here, guys. You know which one I'm on here. A great little place to hide out. It's just on top here on point B. So when the enemy are about to take point B, that's where I was getting most of my rapid kills from. And it works a treat. It is a tough challenge, guys, but you can make it easy for yourself by doing what I'm doing here. Just making sure as well that you are quick with that rapid kill. Quick from road in the first one to the next one. Get that aim in on the second one and then get that second kill just like that. That's the last one, guys. That unlocked that rapid kill, but also the gold camo form. I was so proud of that because it is a tough challenge, that rapid kills one. But hopefully I've helped you there as much as I can. So this is now the gold camo, guys. That is what you will achieve once you've done all them challenges. I thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope I have helped you in some way to make this easy to get to gold yourself. There is now the next launcher I'm now going to try and get to gold, which is, I believe, I'm just going to look into it. This is the Panzer Shrek, Panzer Shrek, whatever it is, guys, Panzer Shrek, I think they call it. Um, but I'm now going to unlock this one. This is the next launcher I'm now going to get to gold. So hopefully you can join me for that, guys. And once I've got it to gold, I will share that with you. Take care, guys. Please don't forget to like. Please subscribe for more Call of Duty videos. Take care. Peace out.